Comics time! First up, Mega Man issue 17, Proto Man. Basically, just about his origin, how he became to be, and how he's an older brother to Rock. Massive issue 4, part 1 of 3. I must say, issue 4 was a lot better than the previous 3. I felt there was a lot more character development rather than just introducing the world over and over again and the characters was just not as compelling but then now it's focused on Israel. Israel is an interesting character as he's like the boss of the capital so like getting to know the big man it's pretty good. I mean rather than the first three issues I didn't really get where it's going but now it's sort of like something's happening and it's getting more interesting and I'll probably stay with it for now. Conan Different artists, not really liking how it's drawn. A writer preferred the previous two artists, but I guess I'll just stick with it. The storyline, I don't know, I'm not really digging the storyline because I think how w Brian Wood is writing here is just like a lot of like voiceover. Like there's not a lot of dialogue, it's just like scenes. Like they're moving closer and closer to this Conan clone and there's no real dialogue but just like thoughts and I'm not really interested in thoughts. I'd rather have dialogue and just rather have them talking it out than just thinking about what's happening. Winter Soldier, Black Widow's nuts again and she doesn't know what's happening and Bucky has to go and save her but now with a team and everyone's like oh my goodness Bucky's not dead. Spoiler! This storyline's been done before I mean you have a lot of spies who just get reprogrammed and everything but oh well I don't read a lot of comics so this was not bad for me. Punk Rock Jesus, <laughs> I'm loving the Christian stuff in this even though it's just like, that's preposterous. Like, let me walk on water, let me do a miracle, and the kid's almost drown. Loving the art, I really wish Sean Murphy had some lined up after this, because after Joe the Barbarian and then this, there was a pretty big time gap, I'm thinking. But I hope he had something lined up with some crazy stuff, and I hope he does it himself, and maybe color it too? Yes? Mm -hmm. X-Men The Wolverine totally takes place before Avengers vs. X-Men. I sort of hope that the Avenger vs. X-Men stuff hurry up and gets wrapped up because I'd rather see this. I'd rather see this kind of storyline where the Hellfire Club is just insane rather than, oh, let's go take care of Hope or let's take care of Evan or whatever. I mean, those are important stuff, but I like this stuff better. And hearing that Bacalo is off after this issue is just kind of saddening. And also, I wonder how long Jason Aaron's gonna be on this. I mean, he's writing Uncanny Avengers too, or one of the new Marvel Now stuff. I just hope that it doesn't affect his stuff for this. Chew? <laughs> I really feel sorry for John, because he's hardly ever talking now in this issue, because he's just owned, which was a long while ago now. But I guess the supporting cast is getting more screen time or comic time so that's not bad and the whole like whole polio thing pretty funny and and pretty extreme batman robin um i don't really care about continuity i rather they just like talked about like what's happening now i'm because i'm actually liking the whole batman robin storyline and sure this sort of brought in more insight about how badass damien is but i already knew that he was badass so you don't really have to tell me what happened 10 years ago or whatever and he's just like I don't know. I don't really like the Damien who's just super cocky and go like, I'm so much better than you, father. I really like the, oh, I look up to you, father, and let's just work together and kick some butt. So, Kenny X-Force, what a tease. I mean, like, Evan in that suit is just like, whoa. And then, and then the whole, like, three hours ago, and then now. I'm not really liking the teasers like that. I rather just you get on with the storyline and just... Yeah, how about you just tease me about what happens three hours now? At the end of the issue, that's not that bad. Because, like, I'd rather you just leave a cliffhanger, leave a cliffhanger that's more intense than just Deadpool going, like, I can kill you now, even though I couldn't do it last time, uh -huh. Batman, I don't know what's everyone, I don't know what everyone's raving about, but I didn't really enjoy this issue, because it was just like, I don't really care about Red Hood, and, like, him prior to becoming the Red Hood of now, so, and then the whole, like, bat signal it's like cool and then batarang and i don't know it wasn't really much here for me so ugh. and as you can see that i reviewed batman last was the last comic i read this week and i must say i wasn't like excitedly happy about leaving batman zero at the end i'd rather have like something else at the end but oh well that is all for comics this week see you next week like it subscribe Check it out!
Looking for 